Sport is superstition, science, family, drama, love, theatre. It's everything. That's why we've made a betting brand for sports fans. That's better. Gamble responsibly. Ben Simmons finally faced the Philly crowd, James. Well, is his redemption complete because it was a rousing reception, all negative, be it may? Uh, is his redemption complete? Yes. Dico? <laughs> no, no, it's not. But it's good first steps, isn't it? Good first steps. He's out there giving the, uh, the Philly crowd a bit of a razzle-dazzle, giving the old shh. Love to see that. The thing is, his redemption's not until he, you know, fully complete, until really he's gone into Philly actually dunked the ball in the fourth quarter and hit some free throws. That's when his redemption is complete. If he does that, I think we're all flying. But I'll tell you what, it's just great to see him play with a smile on his face. Yes. Like, he looks like he's playing with a pep in his step. He's basically playing the most relaxed basketball of the last two years because he's finally back out on the court and doing what he does best, which is just play. What, what about his 22 points, his eight boards against the Grizzlies? Did you see that improvement coming so quick? Uh, probably not so quick, but I mean, we talked about this last week, right? It's about health. Uh, it's about the nerve damage that he suffered. He's very clearly, like, incrementally getting better back on the court. And so much of his game, Dicko, is just predicated around the simple fact of his physicality, like his speed, his uh, burst. Literally, you see him out on the uh, on the fast break. He just like if he puts his head down, his head down, shoulder forward, he's going at the basket. No one's going to stop him. Like it's awesome to see. But really, it's like mentally and physically, like getting over those injuries is going to be huge for him. Because look, his floor each game should be 11, seven and seven each game. 11 points, rebound, seven rebounds, seven assists. Away we go. He had 11, seven, 11 earlier this week. He had three blocks, three steals. Those are the stats that make more sense to me. The three steals, the three blocks. That means he's getting up and about on the defense. And, you know, a couple of dunks here and there. Off we go. It's just good to see him back. But, look, his confidence is key. Yep. His confidence is key. His confidence in his, in his body and in his mind. Josh Green, another Aussie in good form. He 23 and 6 threes. It was all wasted, though. What are the Mavs thinking? <laughs> like, career best numbers and... You can't get the win. You kill him a man greeny. <laughs> Absolutely kill him a man greeny. I love him. I love Josh Green. Uh, he does a little bit of everything for this Mavs team, and they just keep wasting it. Uh, so career highs across the board for Greeny earlier in the week. He has 23 points, drops to six threes, as you mentioned. I've been yelling for the last 15 months, just get him out there. But then he gets out there and misses a couple of threes. His confidence just pew, bottoms out. But when he hits them... He looks unstoppable. He's a defensive menace. I love him. But seriously, Dicko, can you believe this Mavs team? They're killing me every time. What are you doing, Mavs? This is what they do. They waste a really great game by our man Greeny because they just can't beat teams with their actual good players. Well, that, you just touched on that. So you're following the Mavs, you're frustrated because playing some good basketball, but when you come up against teams without their best players, normally you just chalk the win, but they're chalking losses. It's crazy, right? It's all about their three-point variance, I think. So they take the fourth most threes basically in the NBA around that, right? Top One of the top taking threes teams in the NBA. The thing is they're hitting not many of them. They're the 19th worst three-point shooting team. So when you add that up, Dicko, it's the simple idea of going, we're taking lots of threes, but we're not hitting many of them. Yeah. That's a bit of a problem. And that's the variance, right? So the other thing for me is that the assist numbers are down for the Mavs. The assist numbers. Like this is a team that is Luka Doncic. They basically play inside out. He drives, he kicks the shooters, off you go. If you're not hitting threes, like we've just mentioned, the assists are going to go down because you're obviously not hitting shots. But really, like, if your assist number is down, it means the ball's probably sticking a little bit more. There's a little bit more uh, on the perimeter stop-start sort of movement rather than just moving the ball around. And seriously, losing the teams without their best players, that comes down to focus and defense, yep. though. Like, they lost to the Pelicans without Zion and Ingram. They lost to the Wizards without Brad Beal and the extreme Zinger meal, Chris Stapps Porzingis. They lose to the Magic without the rookie Paolo Bancaro. And they lose to the Nuggets without Murray and, like, Joker. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> Missing shots, like that's what it comes down to. Their defense is awesome, but in these games, they just lose it for a second, they lose focus, and they just don't have a backup plan because that's it, they're so Luka-centric. If the threes don't drop, the backup plan is, save us, Luka! And like sometimes that's just not a great plan, like because he can't do it all by himself. Just get Greeny out there doing some more ISO. Just let Greeny do his thing. That's what. Let's talk Phoenix and the Suns are shining, James. Let's uh, throw that little one zinger in there. But they come up against the battling Pistons on Saturday. Is it just 
Is it a done deal? Uh, basically, you'd say so. But, I mean, we just saw the Pistons earlier this week take it to a uh, Denver team that had just gotten back some of their stars. But that Denver team did not have a Devin Booker, Ben Dixon, who just broke up with Kendall Jenner. Whoa. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He's broken up with Kendall. He's averaging 27, 5 and 6 so far this season. He might make a run at MVP now. He's focused. I love it. <laughs> but the vibe is, seriously, he's going to go on the post-Kardashian bounce. This is actually a thing in the NBA. If you're dating any sort of a Kardashian clan, if there's a breakup involved, it either craters or it skyrockets. Watch Devin Booker go absolutely bonkers. But this Suns team is awesome because uh, they're dealing with Chris Paul, who's got a severe case of, I'm very old and I'm Chris Paul. So they're going to, like, you know, you know, rest him during the season. He's out with a heel injury at the moment, Dicko, um, which is a good way of going, Dad, just take a couple of weeks off there, Chris, and off he goes. But they're still crushing it. Like, they're basically riding this incredible sort of revamped starting lineup where all their starters are dropping basically almost double figures each night. The bench is very thin, but when Booker's dropping, like, 49 like he did the other day, like, he was scoring from all parts of the court. They lost that game against the Jazz, but it was really close. But Booker is just literally right there as a top five player in the NBA. He, I mean, this team is getting into fights with the Lakers. It's all going on. I love it. But seriously, they're one of the teams that could go big in the West if they make one move, and they've got that one to make. Jay Crowder, he's sitting there. He's not playing. He wants a trade. If they can sort of finagle that and make it work, they could be one to absolutely watch out for them because they can score with the best of them. They can absolutely just put up huge numbers, ride the Suns, I reckon, Dicko. All right, well, you heard it first here. It's not keeping up with the Kardashians. It's keeping up with Devin Booker because he's just going to go nuts this weekend. Ben Simmons is back, baby. Here's to his basketball doing the talking. The betting brand for sports fans. That's better. Gamble responsibly.